Look at Rick. She runs into some old lady. This bad? I'm on the way to a shady gig. <laughs> Proud driver of this man. Just sort of squaring myself up to the audience, just to let them know I'm not an intimidated by them. I am. First one that comes at me, I'm going to throw him at you. He's only skinny, but he weighs a lot, don't you? Yeah. Well, we've had a very exciting week this week, haven't we? Well, our drummer Andy has. Yeah. He's had a week off work. And let me tell you what he's been doing. They don't call him Andy Mr. Andy Mr. Interesting Jackman. Mr. Exec. In his spare time this week, on his holidays, he's been train spotting. Fishing. Fishing. go fishing. What else is boring? Cricket. Or oh, somebody over here that watches cricket, isn't there? Yeah. Uh, he's done silly hats as well, one of them silly white floppy hats with twat brim across the front, yeah. And, just in the evenings this is, he's made a scale model of the Taj Mahal out of silk-cut fan books. What an interesting life you lead. <laughs> what a lot of bollocks. I told you it wouldn't work. I told you it didn't. <laughs> People don't even know he's working with us. It's just so they see a drunk kid and like, he's here, look. Put the green light on, put the green light on him. 
Right. We put the green light on because it, it matches his teeth. That's why we put the yellow one on you. It's the red one matches my eyes. I was going to say that, red one matches his arse. But we have another purple one to match your piles. This was a song recorded by a group called The Black Crows, which reminds me of got a few people. Oh, yes, as well. <laughs> 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 oh, silly, I've got. So, can I just wipe this on your dress, ladies? <laughs> You'll never notice, it's very patterned. This one's cool. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> if you see me, mother, don't tell us. You're really upset. This one's gold. Too hard to handle. Now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've got, got it on me tonight. What? Bogies, burps. Just that kind of guy. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm just not in the mood to be civilized. I feel I feel like you tonight. Well, not personally. You know, I'm in the same sort of mood that you usually are in. <laughs> You are, you've been very nice, yeah. very nice tonight, he's uh, been quite polite. Yeah. You didn't even get upset when I called you Mr. Blobby, did you? No, fuck off. No, no, no. <laughs> Maybe I read him wrong on that one. Who 
I'm going to do a song recorded by a group called The Police. That's all I'm going to say, because at this point in time, I just don't feel like talking to you. I've just had enough. You can be as sociable as you like, but I don't want to know. Yeah. Rock sound. No, no. Don't nobody talk to me. Don't want to know. I'm you. It's nice. He's got a lovely little smile. Not to mention his bottom. You got that sort of 16 year old schoolgirl sort of look about him. Especially, yeah. especially when he dressed up in the, in the dressing room with a gym slip on. Come on, get up. I said, Roxanne, I'm not saying no more. Stop. Tonight, and, uh, it was the excitement of uh, last night's gig. We were at Brannigan's, and uh, one of the barmaids from the Bellevue was in. Val, a few in. Well, there was a few in, but there was one in particular. Now she's hiding round the back last because last night. She was flaunting, she was flaunting, she was flaunting herself, wasn't she, John? She yeah. was like, me and you got a bit excited. She's a bit of a trout, but you know, sometimes you go for it, the older woman. Don't worry, Lynn's... Oh, she's heard that. Shit, she's there. She's there. I'm not going to go into detail of what you did, pal, don't worry. Go on, skulk off round the back. I won't mention that your daughter sat right at the front here in the floral dress, with a crimson face. We started up doing a few songs, it's... She's there, front of the stage. 
I never knew a woman could get her legs so far apart. That was, that was amazing. Especially at that ripe old age. And I'm amazed at what she could do with fresh fruit. Even tin as well. No, with the tin? Have you, quite honestly, have you ever seen a banana as big as that before? Have you? That's like Ben, that's like Mickey Mouse's head on it. No, never mind. Why did it keep buzzing though? It's kind of just like my shaver. I must admit, that turns me on as well. Anyway, I, di I dissect. We've got a bit of a celebrity in the audience tonight. Yeah? Yeah, you lads don't know this, but I've been tipped the wink. We have a guy sat on there with a sort of yellowish shirt on, Mr. Dave Evans. And uh, he's actually been sponsored by uh, Anusol Hemorrhoid Cream. And he is actually Mr. Hemorrhoid 1993. And... We've been asked to make a bit of a presentation to him. It's, uh, it's a bit like getting a gold disc. It's for like half a million sales or anything. But this guy has got, uh, on a survey, more piles on his arm, in his arm, around his... He has more piles than anybody else. Can you, can you bring out the award, please? This should help you enjoy the rest of the gig in comfort, Dave. Here. <laughs> all he could say is in inaugural service was, my god, my grapes are killing me. <laughs> 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 that simple We're going to do a song we've been doing for a long time. Christ, we've been doing all for a long time. <laughs> Man and boy, this features John using a new keyboard, what he has borrowed. Yeah, but this, this You're not leaving because I've been bothered to you about your mother, are you, Linz? This one's called Waterfront.
was John Watson, not only a terrific bass player, but a master of disguise as well. <laughs> He's going to have me by the throat in that dressing room. <laughs> Either by the throat or by the scrot, one of the two. Both. I know, which one? The black one. I've had that black wig for three years. I wear it doing the Gary Glitter thing, and it's never been washed. Didn't have any washing instructions with it. <coughs> and to be honest, you feel a bit of a twat getting in the shower with it on and like using wash and go, don't you? <laughs> what are you doing? It's got to be said. What top tune are we doing next, Joe? Let's move the list over here. I haven't decided what to do in the lead break in this one, whether to actually play the harmony lead guitar or whistle tonight. Whistle. Whistle. I'll whistle it tonight. This is going to add new dimension to this song. If, if Bad Company were in here tonight, they'd be thinking, why the fuck didn't we think of that? And then they'll think, because it sounds shit. <laughs> this is a, an old Bad Company song. It's called, I Can't Get Enough of Your Love. <laughs> So, totally lost. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> Right. But ladies, I mean, it was a brave attempt. Might have sounded shit to you, but 
I put everything I had into that. Oh, Okay. I don't blame you. He takes the piss out of your knife, wakes, all that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you fuck off. <laughs> but what you've got to remember is your mate Steve is videoing this. And in the morning, your kids are going to put this on the telly and they're going, Dad said fuck off. Fuck, 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 fuck. Crusty knickers. Ah. The kids are gonna love this one. <laughs> His wife's called Matt. You should see. You should listen to what he tells us. What him and you get up to. And oh. Oh. I never knew yogurt could spread that far. Oh, That's fuck you off now, isn't it? <laughs> Enough of this back language, because we've, we've got to get in practice. We're at the Durban in Cleveland tomorrow night, so none of that. We're going to uh, <laughs> finish the first set with a song from 1970. I was born there. Are you still videoing this, Steve? Yeah, I'm just putting my finger. The kids were going, what was Phil doing then? No, what, what's that? <laughs> this one's called cool, No Matter What.
Indian. I was doing this on Thursday, wasn't it? I've learned the dance properly now. No, don't smack I want to do me. I've learned the dance properly now. The boom shakalaka. Boom shakalaka. Sort of a little bit of a hip thrust there. Can you do it? Go on, try it with me. We do... Come on, come on. You stand here. We could do this together. Come on. No, no, it's on video. He's, he's, he's already having to cut a load out for his kids. What about all those years you spent doing dance classes? Tap and ballet, modern jazz? All gone to waste. What a, what a shame, I don't mind. Here's a Bon Jovi song. This is In These Arms Tonight.
Oh, I'm sorry, Mike, I didn't get your, your verse in. I couldn't remember it, but I remember it like an angle that needs maggots, like our sound and Mike's a faggot. I've remembered it now, I'll get it in next time, I promise you. I've got to think of a short one for you, haven't I, Bert? And uh, when we do that, because we've, we, we've got a trainee sound man tonight, because our sound man, Mike, and uh, our lighting person, Paula, are getting married in a, it's just over a week and a half, a week and a half, so uh, for two weeks we're without the sound man and lighting person because they're going to be... <laughs> it's, it's the noise. It's a... But doesn't it cover the woman's back in spit when you do that? She loves it. Does she? It, makes, it must make it a bit slippy on your arm. I've got a beer in my mouth at the time as well. <laughs> no, what do it, will you? You're the most horrendous person I've ever met in my entire life. When he comes round to the house, I say to the kids, he's like, you know they say, don't talk to strange men. That's the kind of guy they're talking about. I bet you get some funny looks when you're picking your kids up from school, don't you? I don't. Come on, man. Come past that man there. <laughs> that monster at the railing's going... <laughs> on his own. <laughs> See, I don't always pick on you. <laughs> but I make it up when I say it about you. I tell the truth when I'm talking about it. Have a quick look at the list. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Give me a song. Another top tune from the charts. We may be knocking on a bit. We may be a bunch of old trouts ourselves. We nearly like the senators. <laughs> Louise, sit down. I'm sorry I mentioned trout. Sit down. It's not, there's no need to be offended. But, uh, See ya. We know what the kids want. <laughs> Plenty of that. Here's a Spin Doctor song. This is Two Princes.
too bad. By my watch, and my new watch, it's nine minutes. Actually, we can do this. Don't worry. Mind your body, wiggle your belly. Christ, this is too bad. Don't worry, Lou. It'll be all right for the wedding. I promise you. I'll lay off the six. <coughs> no, I won't. Stop that. I'll just drink more whiskey. It's good for me throat. We're going to do one of my favourite songs now. My favourite kind of music. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yes, we're going to do our Nolan's Belly. Really. in the sky. Don't cry. Okay. I'll see it both tomorrow night. Is that one of the central beer, the one with the big tits? Right, Sorry. yeah. Rather well endowed one. John Williams. No, that's very cruel. Linda Nolan. You don't you just don't know do you? Give a shit me. You were always more into Hendrix than the Nolans, weren't you? So it's a song recorded by originally uh, Wilson Pickett. Yeah, yeah. Featured in the film. Oh my god, Lizzie, you've got a very small bladder, haven't you? Big tits, no. <laughs> We're going to club together and get your pair of incontinence pants and you can just sit there during a number go. Oh. And then sort of slosh out at the end of the night. <laughs> Those might be good for Dave Miller as well, actually. You know, that, the comfort of that warm water swishing around. This one's called Mustang Sally.
Hey, Roach, according to my brand new watch, time has beaten us, so we've come to the last one in our repertoire. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an old one. We've been doing this for a long time, and uh, it's time to initiate our young bass player, John, into uh, a new part, well, not a new part of the act, but an old part of the act that we haven't done for a long time. And he's worried, aren't you? This is where we nail the bass guitarist to the wall. It goes down really well. Then pour lighter fluid on him. He's not quite sure whether I mean this or not, are you? We're going to close. Thanks very much for being a terrific audience for us in here tonight. Some of you are the right bunch of gigs, though. I have to say that. I'm not pointing out which ones, though. So, come on at me like that. Disgusting. You hit those, you hit those bloody crisps I coughed into, didn't you? Mm. <laughs> if you're that hungry, that, that bogey I wiped on that poster is still there after, you know. Sick woman. We're going to close with an old Rolling Stones classic. <laughs> Comes from a broken home. Some of the Frankie's busted guitar. Anyway, I'm doing it because I can. <laughs> well, that's good enough reason. This one's called It's All Over by my new watch. Now! <laughs> Take a note. 
26. He wants the jelly. And he's brought a pack of two. It used to be three, but that's inflation. How are this if you have a cold. Titted. Well, we quite turn the fire. Whatty, can I make it bulge a bit? Oh, it's erect. Here we go then. What, what have I joined here? It's the first time you've seen this, haven't you? And it's on video and your kids are going to watch it in the morning. They'll be saying, my God, is that Uncle Phil? <laughs> no wonder he's got my kid. He puts a bloody condom on his head. <laughs> 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 what Don't try this if you've got a cold, because it's very dangerous. They do tend to fill up with snot. Girls, if you're ever in that situation where you whip out your condom out your purse and say, I'm sorry, you're going to have to use one of these, and the guy say, hey, baby, I'm just too big for one of those. I'd like to see the fella that could pull it up. The whole band would like to meet the woman that could take it as well. Oh, oh, oh. 
Yeah, not yet. Let's go! Cool. 